Hi, welcome to ODE YouTube channel. Today, finally, we are getting to the day 25 and to the 25th window. And so this series of videos stop now. I intend to keep doing videos on inks um, after this. I think this is the most concentrated effort that I made, that I already made in inks. Uh, it certainly is. Um, I used to review some inks in my blog, but now I think the YouTube is the place where I need to put my ink reviews. I will do them in the future, but I think I'll give now some time without going back to fountain pen inks. There were a lot of them by these days. And now, finally, let's see the full-size bottle that we already know that this one is a big one and see what is inside the day 25 and let's open this and here we have the bottle and it has this oh, sorry this has this very fine look of diamine with the gold letters and really nice so uh, this is a color that is called Happy Holidays, and they don't say anything about it, but I see some, sorry, I see some shimmer there, there are some glitter on the bottom, I think it will be a blue ink because it's blue there, there is some glitter on the bottom of the, of the bottle, as I told you, this is a plastic one, not the, the glass like the others, and I would say maybe these must have, uh, I'm sure some people have looked uh, on the internet, I think I did also uh, to some information, but I never paid real attention, so I'm not sure, but I would say this one is also a sheen and shimmer ink, but I will see it and I will show you in a moment when I ink these into a pen. Let me just shake it a little bit and see the glitter going around and it's not really that easy I would love to do it to show you but it's not really possible the this plastic is not fully transparent so it's not as easy to see as with the small glass transparent glass bottles so this is all. This is the final ink. Let's go put this into a pen and show what, how the link, how the ink looks like. And here I am again today for the last ink we have. And this ink is called Happy Holidays, and it makes sense because Happy Holidays is what where we are. We are at holidays and we wish you a happy time. So, this is the ink, the ink swatch. I would say that this ink is all over because it has a, a medium blue, but then it has a very light blue or green sheen. I would say it is a, like a turquoise shimmer and then it has a pinkish red sheen. So, lots of colors. This is really an interesting ink. So, I would say this is one of the best inks, but I, I will not say this is better than the number 22, the Solstice. I would say the Solstice is even better for me, for my own, for my personal taste. For you, I think this is the most spec spectacular ink that is in this collection. I, uh, I really think that. To go with this ink, I decided to put ink inside this pen. This is a pen that I love a lot, but I don't get to use it that much. When you review pens, you have a big problem is that you have so many things that are new and you have to review, and most of your time you are not using your most favorite pens. You are using the pens that you have to review. So it's quite it's quite sad and I use this ink pen calendar because I need to have ink in lots of pens to go and search different pens. 
that I already know and not pens that I have on loan or pens that I don't really know how they behave to try with different inks that I don't even that I don't really know that well. I've never tried a shimmer ink before uh, starting these ink fan calendar reviews. So this is a Schiffer Legacy 2, a beautiful pen I bought in second hand. I don't know really the kind of nib it has. I would say it has a fine nib. So, finally, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. I'm asking that every time because it's really important. Sorry to be annoying. Now, we have here an ink that is not water resistant at all. Lots of uh, the blue ink goes away and it's all there. The blue with the more purplish and the darker blue fringe. But it's a very simple ink in the chromatography and I wouldn't say that when I'm looking at that. What you can see in this darker line is not really the ink, is the shimmer. You see? That line is the little glitters, is made of the little glitter particles. It's very difficult to show you, but believe me, it's there. Now, to compare it with other inks. I have here the inks that I've been comparing the blues with, which are the Leonardo Torquese Havai and the Waterman Salt Seas. It's not a turquoise ink, so it's not similar to any of those. And I don't have those that many blues to compare with, but this is just for your comparison. This is a darker blue, but with that turquoise glitter, which is very interesting. Now, we already have five blue inks on the Diamine collection. On Diamine Inkvent co ink collection. So, let's compare these with the other five. We have the Happy Holidays, 25. The number one, the Peppermint, nothing in common, except the color of the glitter. I think the shimmer is the same. It is a turquoise or a green shimmer. So there is something in common, not in the color of the ink, but in the kind of the shimmer. Then we have the polar glow, and I would say the polar glow is quite similar to this one, but the polar glow, I think I, I would almost say it is a similar ink, but it's more on the turquoise side, and the sheen is similar, but in this one is a little bit duller, this is more shinier. Then we have the, go on order, uh, the Jack Frost, which is more, even lighter color with a similar kind of sheen. You see there, and also some shimmer, but this shimmer is similar to that one? No, this is more on the turquoise or the greenish. It's very hard for me to understand those colors. Then we go to the festive cheer, which is a duller blue, and I would think this is more similar to that one, but the shimmer, on, the sheen on this one is different and it has no shimmer. And finally, we have the midnight hour, which has also very heavy sheen, but the color of the blue is different, so I would say this is very different from each, from every other uh, ink, although the kind of blue is similar to maybe to that one and the shimmer is similar to, to, to that and the sheen maybe has something in common with those with, uh, with this. So there are lots of variations, it's not the same ink at all. I would like to hear your opinion, what do you think about this ink? Is this very interesting? Is this really different? And from all the blues that we've tested so far, which one is your favorite? Now, let's go to the writing samples. And I would say this is the least interesting because this is where we see less the properties of the ink. And this ink spreads a little bit around the fibers of the paper and it definitely bleeds through. So it's not good for moleskin paper or moleskin paper is not good for this ink. You can see a little bit of shimmer but no sheen at all in moleskin paper. 
Then you have the navigator copy paper. And here, sorry, I'm out of focus. And here you can almost see a little bit of sheen, some shading, but also the bleed through, but nothing special. And then let's go for the paper that really shows the sheen, but not the shimmer. And you can see the sheen there on the swatch, and you can also see the shimmer. So I would say that easing doesn't be doesn't behave very well in those papers, but it does behave quite well on the Oxford paper because you can see the shimmer, the sheen, and the the line is more real and you can even see some shading which is fantastic because you can't see them on those. There are other inks that show some other properties on those cheaper papers but not on the the Oxford. So very nice ink, it behaves nicely but it is just a dark blue ink if you write with a fine nib in this kind of paper. Then we go to the Rhodia pad paper which is very similar and what do you have here? We have here the, the color and almost no shimmer is visible, but you can see some of the sheen. So it's good. I'm not sure you can see there back home, but I can see it here. I don't see the shimmer though. The drying time is quite long and that explains a little the the bleed through. Then the water resistance of this ink is not good also. I wouldn't say that any of these are good and although you see the baseline even the, the, the line that was put first on paper is a little is a little deformed so it's still visible but not correctly visible so I wouldn't say this is the best ink. There are inks with a lighter base line written that are easier to read. Now let's do the phrase for the last time for this Inkvent calendar and the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And this is it. We reached the, the end of these Inkvent calendars. I hope you liked these ink. Please don't forget to tell in the comments what you think about this, but I also want to ask you something more. Do you think that this this Inkvent calendar is really worth the price? I think it was. First in a kind of a YouTuber way, yes it meant a lot because it made me be very disciplin disciplined Sorry, it made me have a lot of discipline to make these kind of videos. Uh, it was a lot of work, so it is very important in that way. It also may, gave me lots of new subscribers and, um, and visits, so it's a good video in a YouTuber kind of way. But it is also a nice, a nice uh, uh, experience because an event calendar is a funny thing. You open one different ink each time, you see different inks, you see different inks that you wouldn't buy easily, and 7 milliliters of each ink and 30 milliliters for the final ink is quite a lot of ink, it's not so little, there are, so it's not that expensive. It's a nice way to try inks that I wouldn't buy otherwise, unless I was thinking about the YouTube channel, but I wouldn't buy shimmer inks, unless I would need them for, the, for some review. So. I think it was worth it. What do you think? Did you buy the Inkvent calendar? You didn't? You think it's worth it? Or if is this will be coming back next year, will you buy it again? Will you buy it again or for the first time? I am really curious about that. I'm really curious about the success of this initiative. And I think that Diamine, in my opinion, should choose one ink, the most popular one, and 
to issue that as a regular edition, at least for one year until the, the next Inkvent calendar when they would make all new inks and then choose another one to be produced for a single year. I think it would be a nice um, thing. Please tell me also what you think about that. And do you think that we should try to create a movement to promote the inclusion of the Solstice number 22 ink into the regular production? So, I think this is all. Uh, thank you for going for coming with me in, in this long journey of 25 days, opening uh, little ink bottles and testing the inks. I hope you liked it. I'm more experienced in making pen reviews and I only made 26 ink reviews, so uh, not that much. I hope you liked it. Please keep giving me your comments and your thoughts and your suggestions for improvement. I also want to um, wish you Merry Christmas and let's not see this Merry Christmas as a religious thing. I think this may be for every religion and culture and everything. Just have a nice time, a nice season that may be comfortable for everyone of you. Or in a more political, uh, correct way to say it, Happy Holidays and this is true for everyone, for every religion, for every region in the world and I will be waiting here for you for the next video of something different, not ink, next video. So this is all, see you next time.